what's kind of your views of what's what we're going to see in the next 10 years with net zero because obviously we've got ULEs, CASs, LTNs. I think how it pans out depends on how quickly, as I say, the decent people of Middle England use their power in the ballot box to send a message to the people who are currently governing us that they don't want uh, their standard of living to be destroyed in pursuit of a, a, a of a sort of um, an abstract and un, an unproven view of life, uh, particularly before, as I say, we've sorted out the main global polluters who are the most populous countries on earth, uh, as I say, Indonesia, India, and China. Th those are the three that are polluting most now, and not, not least the USA, they're pretty populous and they're still polluting. So um, I think, I think it's up to people if they want uh, to stop this nonsense, they have to effectively vote uh, to send that message because the only serious message that, that, that they can send is through the ballot box. Um, and you're seeing it, as you say, in uh, these, these various sort of um, radical plans for low traffic neighbourhoods and, you know, limiting people's movement and charging them all sorts of tariffs for driving in and out and stopping them driving on certain days. I, I mean, if people, uh, if the majority of people want that, they'll vote for it. But I'm, I don't think that's what the majority of people want.